And then with that same 4E blade, I'm gonna go look in her ear and shave out any excess hair that's around the ear canal. You don't want a lot of hair in there because it can get damp, it can cause ear infection, so I always shave that out and get it nice and neat. And you can kind of go in and pull a little bit out to get anything that might be tucked in there. And then I'm gonna switch it over to a 10 blade to do the inside corners of the eyes. And then I'm gonna switch it to a 40 blade and shave off around her eye. So I'm gonna get all of those little eyelashes off on the outside corner so that it opens up the eye a little bit. And I'm gonna close her eye before I do that, just obviously so it's a little bit safer. So her eye isn't exposed as I'm trying to do that. And then I'm gonna shut her mouth and lift up any little hairs underneath her nose. And with that same 40 blade, I'm just gonna swipe that off. And that's gonna get rid of any of those little gross hairs that, goes in, that go into their mouth. I'm gonna switch it to a 10 blade and just get any excess hair around here. And what I do, a little trick, so you have less scissoring to do and less sticky outies, I actually swipe out most of the inside of the leg so that you have less to deal with later when you're scissoring. I'm gonna do the same to the other side. You are okay, my friends. You are okay. And I'm just gonna, she's got a lot of hair to start, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a shorter body with longer legs just to make her look balanced. Right now she's just kind of a big old poop ball. So I'm gonna take a half inch guard and take it right down her top line. She's got very thick hair. All the way down into the tail. And then I'm gonna take it right down the rear to the bend in the leg, and then start coming back out. And just kind of doing a little loop-de-loop -loop there so that it's nice and tight at the rear and then get it out there. I'm gonna hold it down at the thigh and then as I come off the thigh, I need the universal. I'm gonna skim off of the side. And what I'm doing is I'm pointing my clippers down to the ground so that I'm getting a straight line from the outer thigh right down to the ground. And then I'm gonna do the same thing right off of the thigh and take the clippers and move them forward to blend in the front of the leg. Hey you, you are okay. So then I'm going to take the clippers right behind the elbow and go all the way down the sides of the body. Now her underline goes to her elbow, so she doesn't need any extra hair here. So I'm gonna take all of that off, go right underneath. And you can, on this kind of coat type, you can go in any direction you want. There's no wrong way to do it because it doesn't stand in any particular direction. And you can see that right now it still looks pretty straight here. So I'm gonna take the clippers more off to the side of the leg and follow that line that I already created to give her a little bit more angulation. 
And then just kind of, I skim over to get any extra length off that I know won't need to be there. I do a lot of skimming to save on scissoring time when I'm working in the shop. And then while I'm here, I'm gonna take off a bunch of this length on the other side of the leg in the exact same way that I did it before. I'm gonna go on the inner, inner thigh and press it down, hold my clippers so they're pointing straight down to the ground and come off of the thigh right down into the ground. And same thing on the inside, I'm gonna take it at an angle and get off any excess hairs there. And take it right off to the shoulder. And at the elbow is where I'll start skimming. So I'm pushing down right now on the shoulder. And then once it starts indenting where the leg would indent, I'm gonna start skimming off by pointing my clipper straight down to the ground and skimming it off so that it's all one line continuously from the shoulder down. Hey, 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 you are okay. You are fine. I'm gonna take it tight right at the throat and I'm gonna set in her chest as best I can. She's a little nervous. I'm gonna take it nice and tight at the throat. I'll go in with a tighter blade afterwards to get it nice and tight right here. But then to set in her chest, I went straight down from the throat And then at an angle right here where her leg starts, I'm gonna come in and go straight down the leg. And I'm skimming right now, but there's not much length left there. Right down to the toe. And what this is doing is it's putting her legs underneath her so that they don't look like they're really for far forward on her body. And then while I've got the loop off, I'm gonna do the sides of her neck. So I'm gonna move her ear out of the way. And right behind the ear, I am gonna put the clippers right up against her skin and take off all of this hair on the side of her neck. And then just because we, I'm not gonna need all this poofiness right here, I'm gonna want it to come down and slope into her shoulders. So I'm gonna skim the one so that it flows through into her top line. I'm gonna skim and then press down right when I get at the top line. And I'll have to go back in and thinning shear that or finish it up there, but I'm getting the bulk of the hair off in the shape that I want to make it easier when I go back into scissor. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Move the ear out of the way. Press the clippers right down into the sides of the neck. And take your clippers and let it flow right through into the shoulder. Again, nice and tight at the throat. Bring it straight down from the throat and then at an angle, set it into the front of the leg. Point the clippers straight down into the toe and bring it straight down to the ground. And now her legs are underneath her. You are okay. Okay, honey. Oh 
Obviously, we're going to make the other side match. Again, I'm going to push it down at the shoulder. And as soon as that leg starts to indent, I'll start skimming down, pointing my clippers straight down to the ground. I'm just coming down. And once my clippers hit the ground, I do it again until I've got off enough hair that I feel good about it. Wrap it all the way underneath the dog. If this dog did not have substance underneath, we would leave a little bit of extra hair, but this dog has plenty. Can you get all of this hair off of the tail? and I'm gonna run it, again, I'm digging in, I'm gonna run it right into the tuck up area and then start skimming into the leg. Follow it right down the back of the leg on the bend, pushing in, and then as you come to the bend of the leg, which you can easily find by picking up the leg and you can feel it right here, that's where I know to start coming back off because we're trying to give her a little bit of flare. So I'm pushing in at the rear and then coming right off at that bend. And then this is gonna set in some angulation. Because we want straight lines when we're looking at the dog from the back, I hold my clippers up against the thigh and once the leg would start indenting in, that's where I'll start skimming. So I'm gonna hold it down at the outer thigh. And then once I know that it's about to indent, which will be right below here, I'm gonna point my clippers straight down and skim down to the ground. And then I'm gonna do the same thing because when you look at it right now, it's poofing out a lot in the front. So I'm gonna angle my clippers forward, hold it on the thigh again, and follow that same line forward to blend it. Hey, 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 you're okay. You're okay. Good girl. and pointing them straight down until they hit the mat. Do the same thing to the inside of the other leg, just like I did on the other side. Hold it on the inner thigh, point the clipper straight down and start skimming off straight down to the ground. And then move it forward also, just like I did on the outer thigh. This is getting off all of that extra hair that you would have to scissor off later anyway. And then one little trick that I do on the underline is I always pick up the front leg and I do it in reverse on the underline to get that nice and neat. And while you've got that leg up, you'll see there's a little chunk of hair right here. So we'll take that off too and make sure that you don't have a bunch of dangling hairs right in between the front legs. I'm gonna go to a longer blade on the legs. This dog has a ton of hair, so I'm gonna get a bunch of this hair off first before we start doing finish work. Making sure that the guard combs are set to the 10 blade, which is what I have underneath here. And this is just gonna smooth it out a little bit so I have less scissoring to do. right here I'm gonna press it right into the front leg because we don't want a ton of length there and then at the elbow and then just skim down a little bit if you wanted them to flare out you could always just point your 
guard at an angle and come out as you go. Pick up the leg to do the inside. Now if this dog had very crooked legs, I would do it while she was standing, but she doesn't. So I can pick up the leg and just do it. You're okay. And I am pushing down at this point because this guard is longer, so it's not going to take it too short. And this is the, I call it a C comb. It's the 7 eighths inch that I'm doing on her legs right now. And pushing down again on the front of the leg, pushing down at the elbow, and then skimming at the back of the leg. I want a little bit of extra length at the back of the leg. I'm going back in with the one just because I can see there's a little bit of hair here. I'm gonna pick up the leg and get all of that off. And once again, go reverse to get all that excess hair off of her underline. And then I also like to pick up the leg and kind of pull it to the side and check and see if there's any loose armpit hairs going on, which she has. So I'm just gonna try and skim those off. And then I'm gonna start scissoring it all together. 